A steel pipe is being carried down a hallway a feet wide. At the end of the hall, there is a right angled turn into a narrower hallway b feet wide. Assume a is equal to eight feet and b is equal to four feet. Show the length of the pipe in the figure is modeled by the following function. The length of the pipe in terms of theta is equal to eight times the cosecant of theta plus four times the secant of theta. We can form two right triangles from the picture that might be helpful. We'd have one here and another here. A right angle here and a right angle here. So let's call this part of the pipe L1 and this part L2 so that the total length of the pipe could be found by adding the two parts together. So if we were to take our lower triangle and separate it out and draw it, it might look like this. Here's the angle theta. And we are told that this length A is eight feet and that would be the same as this component of the triangle. So that would be here. And this side of the triangle would be our L1. The sine of theta would be opposite over hypotenuse. So eight over L1. Solving for L1, we would have L1 equals eight over the sine of theta. But this could also be expressed as eight times the cosecant of theta. Now let's look at the second triangle. This is the triangle that has L2. Now we have a line here and a line here. And then we have a line that intersects those two lines. And what we know from geometry is that this angle theta would then be the same as this angle. So we would have theta right here. So in our picture here, this side would be theta. We also know that this side here, B, is given as four feet. So the cosine of theta here would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So four over L2. Now solving for L2, we would have L2 equals four divided by the cosine of theta. But this could also be expressed as four times the secant of theta. So our total length L equal to L1 plus L2 then could be expressed in terms of theta as L1 is eight cosecant theta plus L2, which is four secant theta. Now let's graph the function L for theta between zero and pi over two. We could graph this function by pressing y equals and then entering the function. Since we don't have the secant and cosecant functions, we will use the sine and cosine functions. So we would have eight divided by the sine of x plus four divided by the cosine of x. Then we can click graph and we want to graph this for theta from zero to pi over two. So we're going to press window and then make our x minimum zero and our x maximum pi over two. So we'll click second pi divided by two. And let's set our y minimum to zero and our y maximum to 50. Then click graph.
Now let's find the minimum value of the function L. So we'll press second calc, and we want to find the minimum, so we'll press three. Now we're gonna set some bounds. See, it says left bound. I want to find the minimum along this graph. So in other words, the smallest y value that's achieved. It's gonna be around in here somewhere. So I'm gonna move the cursor to the left a little bit until I know that I am for sure to the left of that minimum value and press enter. Now that just set a left bound and we can see this little arrow here and this dotted line that establish where this left bound is. Now I'm going to move the cursor to the right until I get to the other side of where I can see that it looks like we have a minimum value. So I'll just move it over here to the right a bit and then press enter. And what that does is establishes our right bound. Then I'll press enter now this tells us that when x is 0.900, y would be 16.648 if we round it to three decimal places.